about how I split my head open, had blood running down my face, and almost died. Okay. <laughs> somewhere I can't remember where we're coming home from and my grandma's house was right beside our house and she like off hanging off the side of her house with these huge icicles really 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 long icicles long and thick. they're like probably that big around no anyways joke. me and Heidi got all excited in the back seat pointing them out and like getting all excited how we want to go play like go grab them and I don't know what we were even saying but like my mom and dad heard us and warned us not to touch them, told us to stay away from them, that we're not allowed to go down there and play with them because they're dangerous. And they didn't want us to die. But, did we listen? No, we didn't. Because we were little and we just wanted to play with them and I die, I guess. So we go down there and we're trying to decide which ones we want to try and get off the roof. We also went to the biggest one, didn't we? Yeah. So we went over to the biggest one and we're like looking at it and like contemplating on touching it and whatever. Or how we're going to get it down so that we can pick it up. Mm -hmm. And I reached up and I... Mind you, I'm looking up watching like... Because we're just like little kids just like... Oh. And so I reach up and I touch it, like I went to grab it, but I touched it and it kind of breaks a little bit off of the house and comes and lands right, right there on my head. And it's like, like, can you right, right in her, like right here on the forehead, I still have a bump and a scar right there. But we didn't know what happened. Like, obviously it was all wet, but it all just happened in like five seconds like i wasn't so thinking fast. anything of it because i just thought maybe it was water or something but all in, i felt stuff like running down my face down my nose it's and dripping off of her nose. i turn and i look at heidi like did you like just witness that what happened and she was looking at me like she had just seen a ghost so and i was like bleeding like really bad from her forehead i must have been in shock or something because i did not I didn't feel pain or anything, so I look at her and she's just like pale and like staring at me like, oh gosh. And then, so I'm just like, what? And then my cousin, yeah, cousin. my cousin was working, but he works in like a shop next to where my grandma's house is. And, um, and so he looks over and I like look at him and he's like, hey, are you guys all right? Like he saw all of the ice. He mostly, like, yeah, like watched it happen or whatever. So I look over and I'm like, yeah, we're fine. I just got hit in the head, but like, I'm fine. So I didn't think anything was wrong. <laughs> fine, it's fine, I'm just bleeding to that. From I didn't think anything fine. was wrong, but apparently, cause he freaked out and he like, his face just like drops and he runs over and just picks me up and runs us up to, Runs us up to where like we live, behind him, like, and Heidi's following, and he, my mom's on the phone when he runs us in there, and then like just he sets me down, and she's like he set her down, and then just like ran and off. just left, he just left, because he was like in shock himself. He didn't stay. Anyways, my mom, she's on the phone, and so uh, like he carries me in and sits me down and leaves, and so she's trying to ask him like what happened and. So she gets off the phone and she's trying to ask us what happened and <laughs> by this time we're freaking out so we just like admit it. I think you start crying by then. But it's probably. It's like oh no, I'm And like, so my I'm mom sorry, goes and gets a rag and she's like wiping my face and everything, trying to clean it up and she like 
I see the rag and it's all bloody. So then I start freaking out and uh, basically we get it all cleaned up and everything and then she super glues it. <laughs> so she super glued it. Mm -hmm. Um, It probably wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Probably just all the blood made it seem like it was a lot worse than it was because even the scar is not very big. It's like just a little bump and a scar on my head. But my hair covers it now. Um, but yeah, she super glued it and there was a little while, like a couple weeks after or days after where I would, it would itch. She just so I'd scratch head. it on accident and, and it would start bleeding down my face again. Okay. And so I'd be like, Ugh. and start dripping off her nose. So I had to go wipe it and clean it myself. And then it just healed, and now I just have a scar, but. So yeah, that's the story about how Dean almost died because of me. <laughs> and because we're dumb and we, don't listen to our, we didn't listen to our parents. So listen to your parents, they actually have good advice sometimes, yeah. most of the time. Even if you think that they're just saying that just because they don't want you to have fun or anything, well, chances are they're a lot smarter than you. So listen to your parents, or you might die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's in this video? Okay. <laughs> Hope um, you guys like this story time. Bye guys. Bye. See you next time.